Hello, everyone. I am coming online to do a quick video. I have Amber and we have Astrid and Arnold. One second, I have to release the triplets from their pen or paddock. We have Angel Asa and Adam. And I am doing a part two of Owls. Uh, I posted a video earlier today about my owl ephemera. And since then, I have found another book. I knew there was another book. And then I have something new to show you. So this is the, I, again, I knew I had another book. So this is Owls of North America by Francis Backhouse. Let's just look at the, oh, gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh my. Firefly Books. This is copyright 2008. ISBN, I don't know the difference between 13 and 10. Um, 9781554073429 dash nine or ISBN ten one five five four zero seven three four two dash one. So this there's just oh gorgeous picture oh after gorgeous picture oh my gosh isn't that just the most adorable thing you have ever seen in this book talks about their vision and now it's going to talk about their hearing I was not planning oops gonna get that mouse sorry little mouse um and what does oh that's crayfish there um you get the idea of what's in this book. It is just fabulous. Um, there are mostly half page or, I don't know, five by seven or six by six by five photos in this book. But then on occasion, there are these gorgeous full-size pictures that I would not want to cut down. I was not planning, look at that one, I was not planning on using this book as the junk journal, but I may change my mind um, because I think Sophia would be interested in, you know, the, the information as well that's here. So I have some, you know, I've got that calendar bigger calendar. So, you know, I may be able to make this work. I'm going to have to think about that. I love that, you know, the cover is already done, right? I don't have to worry about the cover whatsoever. So yeah, some decisions, some things I need to think about there. And then I wanted to show you this is also another purchase. I think I will stand up here. This is another purchase from eBay. This is pretty fragile. You can see the airmail stickers, special delivery stickers um, that are in this matchbook-like um, container which is super cool, and these are vintage. I mean, these absolutely have age to them, and I got it for my postal journal, junk journal. Yeah, that was kind of redundant, sorry, that I planned to make. Was very excited to find it. You know, on eBay, you can set um, search parameters, and I have one set for vintage U.S. postal things. Um, I've got another one set for ledgers. And I have another one set for a um, 
Tanala, is that what how how you say it? Pottery. It's Mexican pottery. I don't know if um yeah. That was kind of a passing whim, so to speak. But then I went to Goodwill today, you guys, and I found these vintage books. So there's the cover. There's the gorgeous spine. I just love this white, kind of whitewashed or purposefully worn blue leather, blue jean look. It does have an embossed picture on the front. It's really hard to see on this one. It's a tinch easier to see. On this one because it's actually you know embossed it's much deeper in the cover on this one this one has the same uh, spine I picked up two there are four or five left so this is why I wanted to hop on if this I just fell in love with these and I thought maybe you guys might too so if this is something that somebody else is interested in, let me know ASAP and I will go back to Goodwill to see if there are any of these books left. I just think the covers would just make awesome, awesome junk journals. Now, they are vintage. Um, 1935, I believe. Oh, and this says copyright 22. So I either I'm mis misreading or... But this is what the book looks like on the inside. Um, let's do a little... Huh? It held up pretty darn well. So, you know, you could harvest the book pages... For crafting and then use the actual book for a junk journal cover I again I love it I wanted to get this out there uh, I, I did pick up two I'm happy to run back and cross my fingers and hope there are more um, let me know and that's why again I posted today again a second video today just to get the word out and you can let me know so I can go back as soon as possible and see if any of those are left. And with that, I am going to be done. This is Carol at Lily Rose Blue. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, comment, and I have my thing I do at the beginning with my mascots and the thing I say at the end. But they come from the heart, and that is to please stay safe, take care, but don't forget to have some fun, and God bless. Bye-bye.